Hi, my name's Steve and I'm one of the instructors here at Almat Flying Academy and today I'm going to be talking to you about five common traits of people who gain their license quickly. So as an instructor, I've noticed that these five traits are key in people who tend to pass their license in minimum time. So let's go through them and have a look. So the first one is funds. So people who tend to pass quickly, I notice, tend to save it all up so they've got a bit of a nest egg and then fly off that. We've all got different financial situations but if you can it's best in my experience to just save that up and then you've got that nest egg there as well as a bit of a contingency should you need it. Point number two is people who fly frequently. Now you've probably heard this said before the key thing with learning to fly is consistency. And I cannot stress that enough. Um, consistency is key in this. People who tend to pass quickly tend to just block book lessons months and months in advance. So plan ahead, book ahead as far as you can, look at your holiday um, and look at your availability with family and friends and just block book ahead as far as you possibly can. Also thinking of contingencies. So book that little bit extra as well. The next one, is confidence. So that sounds self-explanatory but people who tend to pass have a firm belief that they're going to get their license. So they've decided already that they're going to get their license and the flight training is just facilitating that. So a firm belief that you're gonna get it, not on my and I'll see what happens. You can gain your license off that sort of attitude but it's best to just decide you're gonna do it and get it done. Point number four is be prepared. Obviously the flying training is not the only thing involved. We've got exams. Um, a good student is going to uh, to read up in advance. Get all your exams done. Uh, you'd be amazing amount of students who leave it to the last minute. Um, the medical, just allow extra time to get that and extra funds. Don't wait till the week before you're going to go solo. So even if you, if you think you're fit and healthy, um, just allow that extra time and extra money to do that. Um, also, when you come flying, arrive early. Uh, it sounds trivial, but uh, just turning up literally a couple of minutes before your lesson is not really what flying's all about. Flying, you've got to come and check your aircraft, um, make sure you're prepared, you've planned your route if you're doing navigation. Um, and even just mentally rehearsing. Um, the importance of mentally rehearsing cannot be underestimated so just sit quietly and just go through in your head what you're going to be doing you'd be amazed the difference it makes and final one is the ability to take advice and or criticism none of us are right all the time so take criticism off your instructor um, and learn from it the only way we learn is by making mistakes so listen to your instructor don't think they're having a personal attack on you if they do do criticism that's their job, or that's our job, I should say. So take criticism and allow it to make you better. We're all different. It's not possible for everyone to do these traits. We all have different financial situations. We all have different personalities. But that, in my experience, people who pass in minimum time, the traits that they usually have.